so now we'll go for the question answer sessions okay got it what will be drawbacks noticed in the near future if the virtual world takes over the traditional teaching and learning process so i think uh, using the word take over would not be really appropriate uh, because if a teacher can be replaced by a machine she should be replaced right mm-hmm. a teacher can never be replaced by a machine a guru can never be, re- be replaced by the machine the role of machines is to simply help them teach and learn more efficiently in future rather than the word take over both the things are going to coexist what we see happening today is blended learning flip learning so moving forward schools teachers educators they will be leveraging technology as a part of their pedagogy and deliver the best of both worlds so that's my take on the first question that the future yeah, of learning yeah, is blended yeah i completely agree with you as an educationist and uh, learning we learning and earn learning we are going to celebrate this learning uh, the next question is how best training can be given in this digital field so the whole purpose of education or you know the whole uh, i would say the true the ideal manner in which one could really teach and one could really learn is uh, by analyzing individuals learning requirement creating the content as per their learning needs and making sure they are able to not only retain what they have learned but they should able be uh, they should also be able to apply it so in one of my slide i talked about active learning as a pedagogy so whenever someone talks about training in the digital world they should make sure that digital learning is way more than simply recording a video lecture they should also focus on making sure that their education or their training imparts active learning it has to be a mix of discussions it has to be a mix of experiments it has to be a mix of hands on so thereby making sure learners are not only able to learn but they're also able to apply the concepts into practice so i'll pick the third one here yeah how to meet today's paramount challenge entering in virtual world online safety of students of oh, that 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 definitely is a major concern uh so you know for a very long time a lot of uh, tech players they whenever we have talked about exposing access to online technologies to our kids uh cyber bullying access to uh, inappropriate websites uh you know they have been a key constraint uh yeah. a lot of screen time is also a major issue so i think educators as well as parents they need to really come forward and create a rationing uh, through which learners are able to create a dedicated time for on screen uh, learning secondly uh, there are ample courses available there are ample trainings and workshops available which are given not only to teachers but to parents as well on how to safeguard their kids from cyber bullying what are the things that they should be considering while exposing them to online world because nowadays earlier i would say a few years ago it would have made sense if you tell a 12th class student that you will get your mobile after class 12 or you will get your mobile once you go to college today you can't really say that to any student because today they'll simply say how will i learn so and i think this age group is going to reduce drastically so we need to be more open towards it there are plenty of uh, tracking applications which are available for parents which gives their learners a limited access but i think rather than uh, restricting certain access across certain things to students it's better to really educate them about the pros and cons and act as their friend rather than you know being an administrator so that's my take on the third one yes i completely agree and even nowadays wonderful workshops and awareness sessions are there for the students also because uh, with increasing technology as an educators it is always our concern that uh, uh, what about the uh, you know uh, cyber bullying and lot many other issues lot many wrong things are happening and i think uh, yes only the awareness and the you know conviction for moving right uh, will be the solution 
now my dear audience if you want to ask anything you can unmute your mic and you can put your questions forward i will say big thank you write in the chat session yeah yeah you can write in the chat session also uh, before that uh, mr amit i would like to ask you one question that uh, uh, i was really very impressed looking at your uh, at the x that there are lot many courses available uh, and even for the uh, leaders you know and for the teachers also and uh, i will say uh, is there anything uh, available to give a brief introduction uh, to the all the teaching fraternity or all the principals groups or something like that absolutely so i can quickly share my screen Mm-hmm. and show everyone here on how they could leverage it so okay what do you want to okay. i'll be able to present down mm-hmm. if anyone wants to know how to take a course online on edx all they have to do is simply go to edx.org they could do that using their laptops or install an edx application on their android or ios phones now they click on what do you want to learn so let's say i want to learn teaching click on teaching i just have to write the keyword and the courses will come up okay okay the courses will automatically pop up right foundation yeah. for excellence yeah. in teaching online so let's yeah. say i open this course there's a course by michigan there's a course by teaching and learning in the diverse classroom by cornell so many courses are there yeah i'll just open this one for example and as you can see this course tells you contribute to a learning community and basically how do you teach online so you simply click on enroll As I told you, this course is also available for free. If you want a certificate, then go for certificate. If I open another one, leading ambitious teaching and learning, this is suitable for administrators. Again, available for free. You simply click on enroll. Select limited access. And there you go. You have the whole course in front of you. Week one, two, three, four. I can do it through everything. Yeah. It's as easy. I'm not using any special access. Nothing. It's all mm-hmm. absolutely online, available free of cost. Okay. That's it. Start learning. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.